All right, Shalom. First and foremost of all, praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Makakwadash. Double honesty, Apostle, the great millstone, for teaching us the normal saying truth according to Bible rule well. And peace and blessings so for like the nation of Israel, take through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shai. You know, I just want to get into the Lord's uh, willing, edifying lesson. You know, to go in how the Heavenly Father, He set up men, you know, to teach, you know, His word, His ways, His laws, you know, on to His people, the children of Israel, right? This is um, Malachi 2 and 7, for the priest's lips should keep knowledge, right? And they shall seek the law at His mouth, right? Who are the they? The Israelites, right? So the priest's lips, the priests were set up, you know, in a leadership position amongst our people. And their job was to teach, you know, the knowledge of, you know, the laws of Yahweh by Shema Washai, what pleases the Lord, you know, the correct way on how to handle certain situations, right? And they shall hear and they shall seek the law at his mouth, for he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts, right? The Lord of armies, you know, the priests would be those messengers, which we are all priests under the order of Melchizedek, right? Which is Yahweh Shai, if you can, you know, receive that. <coughs> so it says, the priest's lips shall keep knowledge, and thou shalt seek the law of his mouth. Let me get a priest up. This is um the book of Second Timothy chapter 3, right? In 16, it says, all scripture is given by the inspiration of the Most High, right? So these scriptures are inspired, you know, by Yahweh by Shema Shah. The Lord sent down his Holy Spirit from the heavens and placed them upon men to write down these words. So these instructions that the Lord, you know, has his men, you know, teaching us, you know, it's straight from the Lord, straight from the Heavenly Father himself. This is how the Lord, you know, wants us as Israelites to live down here upon the earth. You see, this is the most profitable way to live. This is how the earth, right? Because the Heavenly Father, you know, the earth is under his, you know, under his rule, under his subjection, right? This is how he wants his earth to be ran according to, uh, you know, keeping the dietary law, you know, so, you know, as people call the circle of life, so it can, uh, so it can be sustained. You see, this is Second Timothy 3 and 16. All scripture is given by the inspiration of the Most High and is profitable for doctrine, right? So these scriptures, you know, if they're taught to you the correct way, they bring much profit, you see? They bring, they bring much gain, and this is why the Lord has set up his men in these last days to feed you with, you know, this knowledge, with this understanding, you know, so that you may be found blameless, you know, in the times that we're coming into, because we're coming into the times of great judgment. It says, in this profitable for doctrine, for reproof, right? For reproof, you know, reproof is what we're telling our people. Let's get the definition of reproof, you know, reproof, correction. It says, reproof, an expression of blame or disapproval. So we're expressing our disapproval, you know, of how our people are living. We're expressing the disapproval that Yahweh Shema Shai has you know, towards these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that are living contrary to the ways of the Holy Scriptures. And we do that by bringing out the precept, by showing you in the Heavenly Father's laws, in God's laws, right? In the Word of God, right? The Holy Bible, that the Heavenly Father wants you to do things, you know, a particular way. You see, this is, it says, for correction, so we not only show tell you, you know, what you're doing is wrong, you know, committing adultery, you know, which is sleeping with the next man's woman, right? If you're a woman sleeping with, you know, anyone other than your man when you're already, uh, you know, prom whenever you guys are already together, right? 
it says for correction. So not only do we the in the scriptures show you where you're going off at, we correct you. We give you the correct way. It says for instruction in righteousness, right? That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. You see, so we're showing our people, you know, what is good in the Heavenly Father's eyes. Isaiah 58 and 1, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions in the house of Jacob their sins. So we've shown you out of the Holy Scriptures, out of the book of the law, right, where you're going off at, where you're sinning at. You know, what you need to be doing to be in the good graces of Yahweh by Shema Shah. We're giving you that warning from the Lord. This is Ezekiel 3 and 4. And he said unto me, Son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel and speak with my words unto them. So we're, you have, we have been commanded as the messengers, as the priests, as the prophets of Yahweh by Shema Shai. To go and to give, you know, you warning to go and to speak the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai, which are the words of prophecy. To tell you the things that are going to happen before they happen. To tell you about the heavy judgments that are fastly approaching, you know, this planet Earth. And how you can escape those judgments, you know, if you be willing and obedient, you know, ready to serve the Lord. You see? Ezekiel 3 and 17, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. You see, so the Lord speaking through men down here upon the earth. Men have been given the authority to tell you, you know, where you're going off at. You know, what you're doing wrong. Right? This is the authority that Yah by Shema Shai has given his men, his leaders, you know? This is um, Isaiah 30 and 20. It says, And though the Lord give you the bread of, of, of adversity, right? And the water of affliction, you know, which these are the curses, you know, that we, you know, are under, right? But Yahweh Shai, he came to free us from the curse of the law you see and we now have this grace period you know where we are being reconciled back you know but how are we being brought back by the words of the holy one you see yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore right the heavenly father isn't going to allow his teachers his prophets his priests the, the men that he set up to go uh, warn you, right, to give you this mess to show you the correct way, you know, like it tells you in Acts, real quick, then we'll go back, Acts 16, and 16, and it came to pass, um, Acts 16 and 17, the same followed Paul and us, and cried, saying, these men are the servants of the Most High God, would show unto us the whole way of salvation. And this is where I got my YouTube handle from. Brothers, get a YouTube handle from the scriptures. You know, make sure it's a spiritual one. You know, it says, These men be the servants of the Most High God, which show unto us the whole way of salvation. You see? So this is what the teachers of Yahweh by Shimon Shai his, you know, the, the men that he set up, his disciples, which later came, uh, later became apostles, right? They were sent forth. They were sent away with the gospel, the good news, you know, the way of salvation, how you receive salvation, how you receive the mercies of Yahweh by Shema Shai. This is the way, walk ye in it, which we're about to get that. It says, Isaiah 30 and 20, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. Because why? We're at the end. We're in the times of salvation. We're in the time of great destruction as well. Right? That's the balance of the Heavenly Father. So the Lord is not going to have us taken off the streets until it until the appointed time of the famine of the word, right? You know, it says, 
but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. And that's what you've seen. You see the teachers that the Lord has set up. And what, how do you know they're teachers? You know, as Yahweh Shai said, don't believe me, you know, believe the works. You know, the works I do testify that the Father hath sent me. And we are performing the works of the men, you know, that would be in the leadership positions. Uh, teaching you the Holy Scriptures, uh, uh, breaking down the prophecies, going into the prophecies, revealing unto you the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, right? Verse 21, in thine ears shall, and who are the teachers? The apostles and those of great millstone. Verse 21, in thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, this is the way. Walk ye in it. See, this is the way. Our people are walking in the wrong direction. And that's why the Lord sent forth his messengers to gather Israel. But only his sheep are going to hear his voice and they're going to follow the Lord. This is the way. Walk ye in it. When you go to the right hand and when you go to the left. So you're going to see your teachers out there on the highways and hedges. As Yahweh commanded them to go forth into the highways in hedges and to compel our people to come in, right? This is um Jeremiah 3 and 15, and I'll give you pastors according to my heart. A pastor, you know, um, <sighs> Jeremiah 3 and 15, a pastor, right, is a spiritual guide, you know, someone. Who is supposed to guide you, you know, because we are on this path of righteousness and we need guidance. You know, we need guidance to escape the valley of the shadow of death. You see, we need guidance, you know, leaders to guide us back, you know, to, to Yahweh Shai, you see, back to the good gracious of Yahweh by Shema Shai. And that's what the Lord has set up. Jeremiah 3 and 15, and I'll give you pastors according to my heart, according to his mind. You know, according to how, how the Heavenly Father wants you to be living down here upon the earth. Which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. They're going to feed our people with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures. You see, that they may be made whole, that they may be healed, right? That they may wash away the filth and pollution that Babylon the, the Great, you know, has uh, has pushed in, you know, corrupting their minds, right? But, you know, Lord's willing, uh, you were edified, you know, through the spirit and power of Yah by Shema Shai. Just a quick lesson on how the Lord, you know, he set up these spiritual guides. You know, he set up pastors. He set up leaders. You know, he set up men to teach you the word, Right? It's your job to hearken on to those men because that message is coming straight from Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, as they speak the truth, as it's written, speak ye the truth, everyone to his neighbor, right? And that's what we're doing. Let's bring out the uh, the 100% truth according to the Holy Bible. With that, we're going to say Shalom.